today we are using this beautiful yellow. It's called Butter by Sweet Pickens Milk Paint. I'm going to transform a thrifted find and use the extra scrap wood to make some beautiful upcycled decor. I picked up this little piece for $5.99. It was 20% off day at Major Thrift cute little handmade piece. Looks like somebody started a project on it, didn't finish it. So we are going to give it a quick flip makeover. Recently had some shelving built in my garage. They took down some old shelving. This was one of the pieces and it's a perfect fit for the backer of this shelf. The shelf didn't have a backer before and I wanted to make it feel more like a shelf. So I cut this piece using my saw. By simply removing the old hardware, it automatically gave this piece a more updated look. I did sand down some of this previous black paint so the contrast between the sides wouldn't be too noticeable once it was painted. This piece wasn't super dirty. I just grabbed a rag, got it wet with some nice warm water and a tiny bit of Dawn dish soap and wiped this thing down. Um, I wasn't too worried about the milk paint sticking because it is raw wood. I used some wood glue and my pneumatic nail gun to attach the backer onto the shelf. I'm obsessed with this crackle medium. It is also by Sweet Pickens Milk Paint and you apply it before your final coat of paint. I knew I was only going to do one nice thick coat of paint on this thing. I spread out the crackle medium very thin. The thinner the crackle medium, the smaller the crackle is gonna be. Mixing up the milk paint is very easy. It's a one-to-one -one ratio of warm water to powder, and then you stir it very well a couple of minutes and let it sit for about 10 to 15 minutes. I did not use any bond in this uh, batch of milk paint. That is the additive that helps it stick to a shiny surface. But again, this is raw wood. This paint is going to soak right in. Once it's all mixed up and it has set, it should be the consistency of a melted milkshake. And I apply one nice thick layer of paint, the entire thing using my Klingon F50 brush. Once you have that crackle medium on, you don't want to overwork your paint. So notice I am really painting in one direction and trying to get the most coverage I can with one stroke. If I were going to do multiple layers of paint, I would have not applied the crackle medium yet. Say I wanted to do two coats. I would have done my first coat of paint, put the crackle medium over that, and then did my final coat. But just remember, whatever color underneath is going to show through. So since I only did one coat of paint, now underneath my raw wood is showing through. The coat of paint isn't even completely dry yet, and you can already see that gorgeous crackle coming through. Once it is completely dry, I take my sander here. I've got 220 grit sandpaper and I'm distressing the edges and going through and sanding off any little lumps or uh, clumps of paint like that one right there. To continue this simple makeover, we are going to seal the piece up with some clear beeswax. I use a old brush here and just apply one even coat over the entire thing. If you've not used the beeswax before, it smells so good. It has a citrusy scent to it and it works really well over the milk paint, but also raw wood if you need to refresh old drawers. And here is a look at this makeover. I got it completed in just a few hours and it gave that little shelf such an updated look. I feel like that shelf is something that would have eventually just ended up in the trash since it was an unfinished project. 
This piece did sell online for $160. It is heading to Kentucky. Drop me a comment below. Let me know what you think about this crackle look and if you decorate with the color yellow. Remember the piece of wood that I cut to make the backer for that shelf? Well, there was a little bit left and I cut them down into the square risers. I hate to waste milk paint, so I used the very last of it up on that long piece of wood. And now I have grabbed these little raw wood pieces. They were given to me at the thrift store. They had held them in the back for me and I felt so special. So of course I want to start using them right away. And I'm going to make feet for the little risers. My favorite is Gorilla Ultimate Wood Glue. So I got them all glued on, let them sit overnight, and now I'm using some wood screws. These wood screws will automatically countersink down into the wood, and then I fill that hole with some Joss Air Dry Clay. I don't need these to look perfect. I want them to look old and rustic. In fact, you can see the wood started to split in a few places where I put the screws in because it was already a little bit cracked. Y'all know me, I don't mind. I want those cracks, I want the imperfections. Once the air dry clay was dry, I went over it with a little bit more of the butter just to hide it a bit and sanded that down. To finish the pieces up, I am using Sweet Pickens oil waxes. I've got the dark, the white, and the black out so y'all can see the difference. This is the dark oil wax and I apply it here with the chippy brush, let it sit for about 10 or 15 minutes and wipe back the excess. Oil waxes are another great finishing product. They dry really hard and durable, and I just love the antiqued look that they can give. Dark oil wax on the right, no finishing products on the left. You can see how it has given it a different tone. Here's the white oil wax, and it didn't show up super well over the light butter paint, but that's okay because it helped that paint stay nice and light on this piece. And I also put it over the raw wood feet. Again, it didn't show up a ton because that wood was so light, but I like the natural look it gave. And here's the black. Again, it is very dark, but I think it worked really well with this longer piece of wood because it was very dark to begin with. Now all of my risers are dry and I'm going to do a fun faux repair on them over the little cracks in the wood using this old piece of leather. This was actually a dog leash that I got at an estate clean out and it had some amazing patina. So I cut it into little strips, drilled some pilot holes down into my wood so it didn't crack anymore, and then used some old chippy rusty screws out of my stash to screw the faux repairs on. I priced these risers at $15.95 each, did a little sneak peek over on my Facebook page and y'all they sold out in a day. Thank you so much. Drop me a comment down below. Let me know if you'd like me to make some more. Here is a peek at the longer riser which is still available $29.95. And I just love that contrast of the darker wood with the yellow. I married these two pieces together. I found them each at Major Thrift, but they were separate. A little like cloche tray and a taper candle holder. I used my ultimate wood glue and glued the wood round on top. Also countersunk a few wood screws down into the piece, touched them up with some paint and did the clear wax as well. This piece is also sold, but I just love taking two pieces and making them into one. To find any of the paint and products I used to make your own projects, upcycledbybrie.com is where you need to head. If you haven't yet, please give this video a thumbs up and even send it to a friend who you think may enjoy it as well. Be sure to subscribe and follow so you don't miss any new content. And until next time, I'll see y'all later. Bye friends.